Okay, hello. My name is Devon Connor, and uh, you already know how. Uh, me, I always try to, uh, to speak up for people, to speak up for what is right. And um, I'd like to um, send a clear message to both sides of the aisle. Because um, where I come from, what is right is right, what is wrong is wrong, what is fair is fair. So I'm going to say on, uh, on the part of the state and Attorney General, um, I was trying to wait for you to say specifically what was the exact threats that was given, and he, he did he failed to do that. And um, so I say to you, um, to the board, that for you to consider making this rule, it's like a knee-jerk reaction um, to something that is vague and conclusory. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for that purpose, you need to just outright reject it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, however, on the other hand, I do recognize that, um, and I talked to uh, Ko Okahi, I talked to the leaders and uh, Anamona, and you know, it was outside of their control that, that uh, the Puaku would end up on the road. Uh, some other people decided to do that on their own. And so I say for on our side, if we want to be able to continue to make progress forward, we cannot continue with this kind of uh, negative attitude. I watch Facebook all the time, and I started to see Kapu Aloha go out the window, and people give in to their emotions. So on our side, mm -hmm. we have to remain calm <coughs> to this concept of Kapu Aloha. And I gotta tell you, that's a, that's a very uh, rare thing for me because I come from a place of violence and to respond to everything I don't like with violence. And uh, these two young men will teach me about Kapu Aloha. I will, I will push 51 next month. And I got these two young 20 year olds telling me about Kapu Aloha. And I accept that wholeheartedly. So I say to you, I'm committed to that. And I committed to pushing our people forward through Kapu Aloha. And for those of us who stand on our side, hey, enough with the craziness, bro, because you're hurting our cause. So I know a lot of people don't like to uh, speak up against our own people. But for me, what is right is right, and what is wrong is wrong. And what is fair is fair. And so if you folks on the board want to be fair, then be fair to us as well. You're hurting the hunters. You're hurting the people that, that depend on the mana, then they have nothing to do with the protests. And you know that this rule is only because of the protests, or the protectors. You know what I mean? That's the right, that's the right moniker for that. It's the protectors. So, I ask you to not consider or reject the claim until they can come to you and show you proof of threats. You know, this thing about um, blocking the road, that's a problem. I understand that because that is interfering with interstate commerce and that's a federal law, you can get, you can go to prison for that. And uh, so we need to be mindful of that. But you know, that was one incident and it's power ready. It took the um, protectors to go clear the road on their own without being asked. So you guys need to consider that. And um, this, this come to a place where we end this already, all right? We need to get to that place where we can sit down and discuss how are we going to resolve this issue? Because if you stand strong and you don't like move, TMT don't like move, and the protector's not going to move, we're not going to go to no place. We need to resolve this and we need to resolve this now. Aloha. Aloha.